friends i am immensely pleased to make a video on this topic this is one of the requested topic so thank you viewers for watching my video and subscribing my channel without any delay let's get started with the topic general anesthetic so before starting you must know what is anesthesia so anesthesia it is a reversible loss of responses to the noxious stimuli aapne kisi ko agar pain prick ki hai kuch bhi hai to wo koi bhi response nahi hoga here important is response what kind of response it can be most important is pain wo bhi ja sakta hai and but it is a reversible now this anesthesia it can be general it can be local general where the whole body that is involved here the a part of the body that is involved so general anesthesia we are going to get with the by giving a general anesthetic and local anesthesia we are going to get by giving the local anesthetics so what are the site of action of the general anesthesia so general anesthesia it is a central nervous system here it is a peripheral neuron peripheral nerves then another important difference is consciousness so consciousness that is lost in general anesthesia whereas this is not lost in local anesthesia all the major surgery they are done under general anesthesia jitni bhi major surgery yahan pe karte hain and minor surgery they are done with the local anesthesia but if the patient is not cooperative then even for the minor surgery they are also done with the general anesthetic so another important the basic mechanism of action local anesthetic they act by blocking the axonal transmission mainly whereas general anesthetic they appear to act by inhibiting the synaptic transmission dono nerve ko involve karte theek hai this is synaptic and this is a axonal transmission no if you want a detailed mechanism of action on local anesthetic so you can watch my video i will be giving a link in the description box now what are the cardinal features of the general anesthetic so general anesthetic is the most important cardinal feature that is unconsciousness which already i have told that consciousness that is lost when you are giving a general anesthetic another important is analgesic effect then muscle relaxation will be there reflexes will be lost both somatic and autonomic and recovery recovery is there that's why it is called in the beginning only at all reversible it is the reversible loss of responses to the noxious stimuli now all these things unconsciousness analgesic muscle relaxation all these things they are obtained not by giving just one drug so different categories of the drug they are used to get all these things so what are the different categories of the drug which we are going to use to get all that number one is a pre anesthetic medication so pre anesthetic medication is isme aap de sakte ho patient ko you can give a sedative hypnotic theek hai anxiolytic as a anxiolytic aap de sakte ho patient ko theek hai then for the pain killer as an analgesic we can give opiate analgesic then we can give antacids we can give uh, atropine like drug glycopyrrolate so different different type of drug they are used as a pre anesthetic medication then for the inducing agent here we are using the general anesthetic which are acting fast usko hum use karte hain as an inducing agent maintenance slow acting agent then neuromuscular blocking agent these are going to decrease the muscle tone ye bada zaruri hai otherwise when the surgeon is going to do the work the muscle it is going to twitch so detailed video you can see on the neuromuscular blocker 
I will be giving again link for this also in the description box. Now, whenever you are giving a uh, anesthesia by the general anesthetic, there are total four stages along back the Gudel proposed in 1920. This is by the ether shown by the ether. In a modern day practice, we do not see all the clear cut four stages of the general anesthesia. Now, what are those four stages of general anesthesia? Now, stage one, this is a stage of analgesia. This is from the beginning of inhalation of general anesthetic drug to the up to the loss of consciousness. Okay. Excitement. Next second stage is stage of excitement or stage of delirium. From the loss of consciousness, it starts from the loss of consciousness to the beginning of regular breathing. और ये कहाँ से? Then third stage, stage of surgical anesthesia. This extends from the regular breathing to the cessation of spontaneous breathing. And last one is stage 4 that is medullary paralysis. Is mein kya hai? All the vitals they are lost. Simple. Yes, so, ye ek kello, like broad picture of stage of analgesia, excitement, surgical analysis and medullary paralysis I have told. What else you will be seeing now in the stage 1 along with that analgesia hai to, there will be no pain. Amnesia will be there and then breathing will be regular. Ab isme kya? There is a loss of consciousness. But in between, ye beginning of inhalation to the loss of consciousness. Yahan tak ye pura ka pura hai. But in between what happens, the patient will be conscious. In the analgesic phase, the phase patient will be conscious, person will be conscious and person can hear and see. Yevala. Can hear and see. And we can do a few minor procedure on this but usually we do not do because it is difficult to maintain this phase, stage of analgesia. Now stage of excitement, delirium, is uh, from the loss of consciousness to the beginning of from the loss of consciousness to the beginning of the regular breathing. So, what is the rest of the delirium or excitement? So, muscle tone, jitne bhi hai aapke parameter hai. muscle tone that we is going to increase. Muscle tone will increase. Patient may shout. Okay? And breathing will be jerky. This may be jerky. Breathing jerky. Blood pressure bhi patient ka zyada hoga, heart rate bhi zyada hoga and patient may shout. Patient may struggle, patient shout in this phase. That is why it is called stage of excitement or stage of the delirium. Now coming to the surgical anesthesia. This is the stage where all the surgical procedure they are done. Ye wala yahan se yana, from this to yahan pe start the surgery. Ye wale phase mein humne surgery shuru karne hai. Phir is mein kya hai? The muscle tone, it decreases. The muscle relaxation will happen here. Especially the intercostal muscle, it will paralyze. BP decrease, heart rate decrease. Okay. This may care you have to maintain all the vitals when you are performing a surgery at this phase, all the vitals you have to maintain. But if the person or Hamari Kosha Shotiki Yahi Takio, like but if per chance patient goes to the fourth stage, stage of medullary paralysis where all the vitals they are lost. So you have to revive the patient. Agar nahi hai, you may lose your patient and patient may 
die. So this, these are the four stages of uh, anesthesia. This is clear cut stages they are seen with the ether. But already I have told in the modern, they uh, practice all these clear cut stages. They are not seen. Then how do you know? In the modern day practice, we just see that the patient uh, has light anesthesia hai, or it is a deep anesthesia. So what uh, we, the most important is if you are giving uh, in season. If you have given pain reflex or you have given a prick, the so patient is immobile, the patient has pain. Nahi ho rahi hai. That means the patient is gone for the surgical anesthesia.